Hello and welcome to another instalment of the World of Sumo News. I'm Scott Finlay. Please stick around to the end of this video as we will be announcing a free Sumo merch giveaway. And I'm Mika Grimmer. Thank you for joining us. So far, three days of Kyushu Basho have wrapped up and we're excited to bring you some of the updates along with the latest Sumo news. Hakioi! First up, beloved Pride of Georgia, Tochin Ocean, pulled out of Kyushu on day one with acute lower back pain. His Oyakata says he will do his best to return to the Basho. Of course, nothing is set yet, and it's well known that presently it seems the Georgian Giants' injuries are becoming too much, so we will have to wait and see. Another Kyujo, Injiro, is Mongolian giant Hokuseho, who had to pull out after losing on day one to Tohakuru with a right knee injury. Doctors have given him a note advising two weeks rest to heal. This pullout does mean a fall back down to Makushita for the young giant in January. His Jiro debut absolutely seems cursed to me. First catching COVID and having to sit at Akibasho, and then having to pull out after day one. Hopefully he can fight back hard in January and be back up in Jiro in March. Hoshoru and Macy apparently have a similar fan, as both men have received new Kesho Mawashi from the same donor, although both are very different as you can see here. As mentioned in the last news video, the Mongolian Morning Blue Dragon, 68th Yokozuna, Asashoru Akanori has now confirmed he will attend on day 12 of the Kyushu Basho to watch live, so you know for a fact that day 12 will have an extra aura and buzz around it. Or maybe that's because he is my favourite and I wrote this script. <laughs> The cameras are making sure to get plenty of shots of Megaki Oyakata, former Yokozuna Hakuho Show, acting as security at Kyushu Basho. And I have to admit, it does take some getting used to watching what is probably one of the greatest Yokozuna of all times just walking around doing security. Of course, they all have to do it. And imagine being in the audience and he's just strolling by you nonchalant as if he didn't just carry sumo for over a decade on his back. But somehow I doubt anyone's going to be trying anything with Hakuho next to them. As much as we'd love to cover all the Rikishi that y'all support out there, it's simply not possible with having over 600 Rikishi to choose from. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick some Rikishi that we feel are worth watching as well as bouts from lower divisions that we found interesting. That means we're going to talk about some big names, some unknowns, and some up and comers. We may even change it up from day to day, but we hope that our very choice of Rikishi each boss show will keep you all enthralled. We'll of course cover the Sanyaku bouts every boss show, as those are some of the most anticipated, but we feel that some of the lower ranked Rikishi definitely are worth checking out. As of day 3, Murayama of Naruto Bea, who is Sandan May 76 and won the Jonokuchi Yusho in March 2021, has had a strong start to this boss show as he has results of two wins, zero losses. A bout of note involving Murayama is when he faced Mihama Umi on day one. Shishi of Irumagawa Bea, who is Makushita 31, is so far at a 1-1 record for Kyushibasho. He lost on the first day, but came back on the third day for a win. His Akibasho record was not that great. He only managed one victory, five losses, and he pulled out on the last day. It turns out he had an injured finger, so hopefully it's healed up well and he's ready to have a good basho. Ami Fuji of Asiga Hamabea, who is Makushita 14 and won the March 2021 Johnny Dan Yusho and the Johnny Kuchi Yusho in January of 2021, has only fought once in the first three days and was victorious. The compact but highly muscular Ishizaki of Takasago Bea, who's Makushita 15, has fought twice in three days, and is at a 1-1 record. He lost on day one, but on day three, he defeated Koto Tsubasa. Up in Juryo, let's talk Enho, who has been doing well after his first day loss. It was Enho v Azimaru on day two, where Enho won, and the Kimarite originally was called Ippon Zioi, but changed to Totari. It was a crowd pleaser either way. Then on day three, he blasted out Tohakaru with a Yori to Oshi. Stay strong, wee man. Koto Shoho, Asarura Kakebeya, stay strong with three straight victories. All well fought bouts that we recommend watching. We hope that he can make it back to Makuchi soon. Sticking with men with three victories, 
Oho is the other joint leader at three victories on day three. And it was a great win, unfortunately, against Midori Fuji. Makuchi time, another Sadukitaki bear man in third generation Rikishi, Kota Nawaka, who pulled out of the last basho. He is off to a bad start with a 1-2 record falling to Hidanumi on day three. While on men who pulled out of the last basho, Hokoto Fuji has stayed strong this time going 3-0 into day four. Someone I don't usually notice, but he has stood out this basho is Sadanumi. Freshly back from Jurio, and he has been like a rocket. His technique and aggression have been great to watch as he maintains a 3-0 score as well. Abi has looked great, moving fast and arming those hands for great use of Supati. So far, he's 3-0 and he's heading into day four against Kaisei. My gosh, you're a five, Takayasu has had some extremely long bouts again this basho, which seems to be coming his thing along with the other endurance king, Takara Fuji. So far, Takayasu has managed two wins before falling to Miyogiru on day three. Let's jump up to Sanyaku and see what's happening up there. Shin Komasubi Kiribayama seems to be a little bit out of his depth, but of course, he's had a very tough lineup of opponents for the first three days. On day one, he faced Yokozuna Teruno Fuji and that was a hard fought battle. And if you haven't seen it, you should definitely give it a watch. On day two, Kiribayama went up against Okunomi, and Okunomi is no slouch either. Day three, however, Ozeki Takakesho made rather quick work of Kiribayama. Now that Kiribayama has some of his hardest bouts out of the way, hopefully he'll be able to find his stride and have a great basho starting on day four, where he's up against the ever smiling and everyone's favorite onigiri, Takanosho. Whereas Komasubi Ichinojo doing better at 2-1, securing his second win by slapping down Takanosho on day three by Tsukiyotoshi and losing only to an Ozeki so far. The Sekiwaki are also having mixed results with Mitakumi staying strong at three wins. A good battle with Daesho on day three showed a great ability to stay composed by the Sekiwaki today. Then of course, there's Sekiwaki Meisei, who's not doing so great with a one and two, but hopefully he can change his luck with the defeat of Okonomi on day four. In a previous video, I speculated on whether or not the Ozeki would come to Kyushu Basho and show their Ozeki pride. Well, so far, Ozeki Takakesho, the battle hamster as some like to call him, is absolutely showing his Ozeki pride by dispatching the likes of Wakatakakage, Kiribayama, and fellow bulldozer Onosho. His bout against Onosho was a great display of power. It looks like he's healed up and ready to take this Basho seriously. Then of course, Mika, we have Shodai, who we both know is a hit and a miss. After losing on day one to Daesho, he seems to have found his feet. As he looked powerful against that Junojo and Onosho, we hope he can stay performing like that in the coming week. At the top of the pyramid, of course, we have the mountain of Mongolia that is tearing a Fuji. We're so far, as we mentioned earlier, he said his best bout with Kiribayama in this basho. But who knows, as we've got 12 days to go, so we'll need to wait and see. Yes, absolutely. Though Teruno Fuji had a real scare against the Aisho on day two, at the edge of the Daohyo, when he finally won with that Skuenage. And then on day three, Yokozuna Teruno Fuji made quick work of Wakatakakage with a speedy Oshidashi. And on his slate for day four is Onosho, who is on a three-day losing streak. And that's it for this episode of the World of Sumo News. Please like, share and subscribe for all the latest WAS content and it would really help the channel out. Links to our website, worldofsumo.com, is in the description box along with a link to our official merch store where you can pick yourself up some official merch like these stunning items. All of our social media platforms and any article used to make this news video is in the description box below. Before you leave us though, we are doing a free giveaway. Do you want to get your hands on a 2022 official Grand Sumo calendar as seen here? Or an official Japanese Banzuki blue stamped by Saikagawa Oyakata also seen here? Then all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber to our YouTube channel and comment below who your favourite week she is. And the winners will be revealed in the next news video as we will be giving away a calendar and two Banzuki to three lucky winners. Of course, if you'd like to purchase any of these items, please email us at contact at The price list is also in the description box. Thank you for joining us. 
We'll see you in the next one.